ano yung nature of roots of quadratic equations? So, ito yung mga nakapaloob sa ituturo ko sa inyo. So, ang objective natin for this afternoon is to evaluate the expressions given the b squared minus 4ac values of a, b, and c. And of course, we are going to use the discriminant in characterizing the roots of quadratic equation. So, let's uh, start by evaluate the expression b squared minus 4ac given the following values of a, b, and c. So, ang gagawin natin, i-evaluate natin ang b squared minus 4ac. So, ano yon? Dapat alam natin, pag once nag evaluate tayo, we are going to substitute all the given values. Ano yun na, ano yung mga given values? Yung a is 1, b is 5, and c is 4. So, ang gagawin natin pag nag-i-evaluate uh, ng expression using the b squared minus 4ac, ang gagawin ay substitute mo lang. Ang b ay 5, ang a is 1, ang c is 4. So, sa substitute lang natin doon sa ating mga variable. Okay, so simplify. So 5 times 5, kasi nga 5 to the second power is equal to 25. Then negative 4 times 1 times 4 is equal to 25 minus 16. So ang 5 to the second power is 25. Tapos ang negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. Okay, then 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. So, ganun ang pag-i-evaluate ng expression. So, ang gagawin natin, substitute lang natin yung mismong value ng A, B, and C, depende kung anong value niyan. Substitute mo lang and simplify. Okay. So, what do you think is the importance of the expression B squared minus 4AC? Okay. So, sino ba dito ang nung last na ano natin last na discussion ng tutorial uh, saan nakita saan mo nakita ang b squared minus 4ac sino pwedeng makapag-recite saan nakikita ang b squared minus 4ac doon sa mga past lesson natin wala saan nakikita ang b squared minus 4ac bakit pinakamahalaga ito b squared minus 4ac. Okay? So, ang b squared minus 4ac, kung kayo ay nanood sa aking tutorial video dun sa uh, solving quadratic equation by quadratic formula. Yan. Makikita yan sa loob siya ng radical sign. Yung b squared minus 4ac. So, the expression b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant. Uulitin ko, pag sinabing ano ang ibig sabihin ng b squared minus 4ac, anong tawag sa kanya? So, ang tawag sa kanya is discriminant. Okay. Itong discriminant na to, it identifies the nature of roots of quadratic equation even without solving for its roots. So, once we are going to find the roots of a quadratic equation, so, dito, sa discriminant na ito, malalaman natin kung anong klase, anong kanyang nature ng roots of a quadratic equation. Kahit hindi pa natin nakukuha ang kanyang roots, kahit hindi pa nakikita ang ating mga value ng x, yung dalawang value ng x, hindi pa nakikita, pero using this discriminant, malalaman natin kung anong kanyang nature of roots. Okay? So, papaano, Sir Anabo? Of course, kailangan alamin natin yung nature ng roots. Sabi, kung yung discriminant or b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin nun, pag na-evaluate na natin ang kanyang discriminant na kanyang value ay 0, so, the roots are real, rational, and equal. Oh, ibig sabihin nun, rational 
and equal ang kanyang nature of the roots. Ipapano sa anabo, pag once ang kanyang value ng discriminant, yung b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero. Mas mataas siya sa zero. Ano kayo yung mga mas mataas sa zero? Ang mas mataas sa zero ay mga 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So, yun yung mga discriminant or value ng discriminant na mas mataas daw sa zero. Okay. So, ang sabi, pag once yung uh, discriminant is greater than zero and a perfect square, o ibig sabihin nun, may ano siya ha? Nasabi, perfect square. Ano kayo yung mga perfect square? Sige nga, magbigay nga ng mga perfect square. Sino ba dyan ang may alam sa perfect square? Can you give me one perfect square? Anybody the class? Nine, sir. Yes, Laika? Nine po. Or four? Nine, yes. Nine, four, sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-nine, and so 64. on. 64. Okay, correct. And so on. So, lahat yun perfect square na greater than zero. Okay. Kung yung value ng discriminant is zero and a perfect square, so ang kanyang nature ng roots ay real, rational, and unequal. O, tatanda na, ito yung mga dapat mong tandaan to identify the nature of the roots. Oh, so ano mo, paano naman ko ang discriminant niya greater than zero pero not a perfect square. Okay. If the discriminant is greater than zero and not a perfect square, the roots are unequal and irrational. Ulitin ko. Unequal and irrational. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nun, yun yung kanyang nature. So, magbigay na nga ng value na greater than zero, which is not a perfect square. Can you give me one? Anybody? Ha? One po. One. Yes, correct. One, three... Ah, five, seven. Ah, yes, eleven. Eleven. So, lahat yun na na hindi siya perfect square. Very good. Hindi perfect square. So, kung ang value na kanyang discriminant ay hindi perfect square, which is greater than zero, ibig sabihin nun ang kanyang nature of the roots is unequal and irrational. Okay? So O, Sir Anabo, paano po ang discriminant kung ang discriminant is less than zero? Ano yung mga less than zero? Okay? Magbigay nga lang mga less than zero. Negative one. Negative one. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga negative numbers. Okay, lahat ng negative numbers ay less than sa zero. Ibig sabihin, pag once kinuha mo ang kanyang discriminant, na-evaluate mo ang kanyang b squared minus 4ac, na ang kanyang value is less than zero or a negative numbers, so the nature of the roots are not real or imaginary. So, yun yung uh, indication na dapat mong tatandaan. Uulitin ko, ang b squared minus 4ac ay ang tawag doon ay discriminant. Uulitin ko ulit, ang discriminant ay b squared minus 4ac. Na ibig sabihin, pag ang, bis, ang discriminant is equal 0, o ang value ng discriminant is 0, the roots are real, rational, and equal. Pag greater than by zero and a perfect square, then the roots are real, rational, and unequal. Pag what's greater than, greater than zero and not perfect square, the roots are unequal and irrational. 
And if the given or the value of the discriminant is less than zero, the roots are not real or imaginary. O dapat screenshot mo ito para at least alam mo, tatandaan mo, yung mga nature ng roots. Kasi minsan, uh, doon sa pinapasagutan, i-identify mo ang kanyang nature of the roots. Okay? So, next, let's try this example. Tingnan natin kung paano uh, sasagutan natin. Solve for the discriminant of the following quadratic equation and determine the nature of the roots. Ayan. So, kukunin daw natin ang kanyang discriminant of the following quadratic equation and determine the nature of the roots. Okay? First example, we have p squared plus 5p minus 3 is equal to 0. So the given example or the given quadratic equation is in the form of standard form. So sabi nga, Kailangan, once you're going to find the discriminant or the value of b squared minus 4ac or the, uh, if we're going to simplify by getting the nature of the roots, okay na, kailangan muna natin gawin dapat naka-standard form. Kasi kailangan nating hanapin ang value ng a, value ng b, and value ng c. Pinaka-importante, once you're going to identify the A, B, and C, kay na kailangan naka-standard form. Kasi ang A, ang number one example ay naka-form na siya ng standard form. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang A is 1, ang B is positive 5, ang C is negative 3. And of course, we are going to find the discriminant. Ang letter D, it represents the discriminant. So, ang discriminant natin ay B squared minus 4AC. So, ang gagawin natin, we are going to solve for the discriminant by uh, evaluating B squared minus 4AC. Okay. Let's have this. So, ang B is 5, ang A is 1, ang C is negative 3. Okay? So, simplify natin. Alam naman natin na ang 5 to the second power is 25. Tapos, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Times negative 3 is positive 12. So, 25 plus 12 is 36. So, ang ating value ng discriminant is 36. So, ang 36 is greater than 0. And 36 is a perfect square. So, ibig sabihin nun, papasok siya doon. Anong tawag sa kayo? O, anong nature ng roots niya? Ang nature ng... <coughs> excuse me. Ang nature ng roots niya ay real, rational, and unequal. Bakit? Kasi ang discriminant natin is greater than zero and a perfect square. So therefore, the roots are real, rational, and unequal. Ganun lang kasi, mga anak. Kinakailangan, alamin natin ang discriminant para ma-identify natin yung nature ng roots. Okay? Let's have this example number two. X squared minus 6X plus 7 is equal to 0. So, nakuha natin ang value ng A, B, and C kasi naka-standard form. Always, bago kayo magsisimula, kay na kailangan, titingnan mo muna yung given kung ito ay naka-standard form. Nauuna ang quadratic term, sumusunod ang linear term, sumusunod ang constant term, and meron siyang equal to zero. Okay? So ngayon, since we are going to solve for the discriminant, we are going to use the b squared minus 4ac. Pagamitin natin yan para makuha natin ang value ng discriminant. Okay. 
So, ang B natin is negative 6. Ang A is 1. Ang, 7, ang C is 7. So, simplify natin. So, negative 6 to the second power is 36. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. Kaya 36 minus 28 is equal to 8. Okay. So, ngayon, uh, ang 8 ba is greater than 0? Yes, po. Okay. Perfect square ba siya? Yes, po. Perfect square, ang 8? Apo. Yes, po. Oh, Perfect square ba ang 8? Hindi no, po. po. Hindi. Oh, Hindi siya perfect square. So, ang 8, so ibig sabihin nun, ang kanyang nature ng roots ng ating quadratic equation sa number 2 ay imaginary. Unequal and rational. Yan. Kasi positive 8. Greater than 0, but the value is a, not a perfect square. Pag not perfect square, ibig sabihin, the roots are unequal and irrational. Okay? So, yun yung mga tatandaan na laging dapat memorize niyo yun. Na pag once na greater than 0 ang discriminant, ibig sabihin, greater than, uh, greater than 0, dapat titignan mo muna kung ito ay perfect square or not perfect square. Kasi pag not perfect square, ibig sabihin nun, the roots are unequal and irrational. Okay? So, tatandaan. Okay, next. Example number 3. x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. So, ang x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0 is a perfect, uh, no, uh, is in the form of standard form. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, naka-standard, alam natin yung A, B, at saka C. Okay? So, ano gagawin natin? Find the discriminant. Ang D is equal to B squared minus 4AC. Substitute mo lang siya. Ayan. So, ang B is negative 2. Ang A is 1. Ang C is 1. So, we have 4 minus 4. So, 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin nun, pag 0 ang kanyang discriminant, alam natin na the roots rational. are rational, real, real, rational, and equal. Ayun. Kasi ang value ng discriminant niya ay 0. Pag 0, ang tawag doon, or ang kanyang nature of the roots are real, rational, and equal. Ganun ang pag-identify ng ating mga nature of roots of a quadratic equation. Okay? Number 4. x squared minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, since naka-standard form na siya, identify na yung A, B, at saka C. So, we have B is equal to B squared minus 4AC uh, ang ating discriminant. So, substitute lang natin siya. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Kaya 16 minus 20 is equal to negative 4. Okay, so ang ating discriminant naman ngayon is negative 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang kanyang nature of the roots ay not real or imaginary. Very good. Not real or imaginary kasi nga siya ay less than 0. Ang value ng kanyang discriminant is less than 0. Okay, so yun lang yung mga dapat ninyong alamin kung paano i-identify ang nature ng roots. Ito, well, hindi pa natin na-identify. Uh, nung unang lesson natin, hinahanap natin yung mga roots, yung mga, quadra, uh, yung mga value ng x. So, dito, hindi, pa, di, hindi mo pa hinahanap ang roots, alam mo na kung ano ang kanyang nature ng roots. Kung siya ba ay rational and equal, 
real, rational, and unequal, unequal and irrational, not real or imaginary. So, yun. Yun yung uh, dapat yung malaman na pag once uh, hinahanap ang kanyang nature of the roots, ganun ang gagawin natin. 